Kira Internet. Any of you who have actually visited me will know about my wall of book crossing. The wall in my study that is absolutely covered with maps and memorabilia from all the various book crossing conventions I've been to around the world. They're all just stuck straight into the wall and for years I've been saying I really need to get a proper notice board. But every time I go and look at notice boards, one, they're never quite the right size and shape for that wall, and two, they're really expensive. It's a couple hundred dollars for a decent sized notice board. So I just keep putting it off. But the other day I happened to be in one of the big hardware shops and in the building supplies I spotted they had great big sheets of polystyrene, which is used for insulation, I think. And I had a bit of a brainwave. The sheets were really cheap, only about $12 each. So I bought a couple of them and I got them to cut the sheets up into smaller pieces because they were a bit hard to transport home otherwise. And then I set about turning them into custom notice boards. I cut pieces from an old flannelette sheet, slightly larger than each of the polystyrene sections. And then I used straight pins to secure the sheets down around the edges. I didn't want to put any glue on the front of the notice boards because it would dry hard and make it hard to put pins into it. So I just pinned the edges, smoothing and stretching the fabric as I went to get the front as flat as possible. It's quite a bit like basting a quilt, really. At the corners, I sort of did a 3D mitre thing. I was basically trying to make nice tidy folds so that the fabric wouldn't get too bulky. Once I'd got all the edges pinned down and the front pulled nice and taut, I glued the fabric down along the back. I just used ordinary PVA for that. At this stage, your hands will get covered in glue. It's completely inevitable. <laughs> the back doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be nailed to the wall, so no one's ever going to see it. So I just left the edges of the fabric raw. But I did do nice, tidy, mitered corners. Again, just keeping everything as flat and non-bulky as possible. I probably could have taken the pins out once the glue was dry, but I decided to leave them in for extra security and also because I kind of like the way they looked. Polystyrene is of course really light, so I could easily put the notice boards up on the wall all on my own and it only took a couple of nails to secure them. And the nice thing about having smaller panels instead of one big notice board was it gave me a lot of flexibility about how I laid them out on the wall so I could avoid things like powerpoints and where the computer normally sits. I even had enough panels left over to put a couple on the other wall next to my sewing machine, which is really handy for a place to pin up patterns or design notes. Final step was the hardest one, of putting everything back up on the notice boards.
that's my cheap and easy notice board solution. I don't know how long the notice boards will last because polystyrene does deteriorate if you keep sticking pins in it, but I'm hopeful it will last a few years at least and it didn't cost me a lot so I'm not so worried if they start falling apart after a few years. I hope you've found this little tutorial helpful. Don't forget to do all those nice internetty things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Kakite internet.